Self then added jokingly that he talked to former fighting Illini, now NBA Hawks coach Lon Kruger, and thanked him. You know, it should be the other way around. Kruger only had to play the Wizards on Tuesday. Anyway, Illinois went up against Duke in the glamour game of the ACC Big Ten Challenge. Shane Battier, the steal, ahead to Nate James, and that is Sports Center showcase highlight quality. Duke up seven, and the folks in the neutral side of Greensboro were pleased. Still in the first, Illinois down four. Lucas Johnson, the pass, only one hoop, but it was a good one. Still in the first, Corey Bradford taking the backdoor pass, lays it in. Assist to Robert Archibald. Illini up one, 35-34 at the half. Second half, Jason Williams knifing through lays it in he had 23 Duke ties it up at 50 still in the second Duke up a handful now Jason Williams steps in front one of 12 steals and he can finish Duke goes up a touchdown 59 52 Illinois down two now Sean Arrington burying the three the Illini seven of 11 from behind the arc they're up one in the bench there they're pleased later in the second Duke one point game Shane Battier he misses that's just a rebound opportunity for Carlos Boozer who sticks it back made the free throw Duke up four less than three to go Mike Dunley he can shoot the open jumper Dukies three of eight from deep they go up nine but the Illini hanging around less than 15 to go three-point game but another turnover they had 26 that one off Corey Bradford and the inbounds Duke would make a free throw to go up four points Frank Williams at the line shooting a third of three down two. he tried to miss it and of course he makes it and so Duke holds on to win it by one point never get a chance to shoot it again Duke now 101 and 13 is the number one ranked team under coach K the INI fall to 1 and 19 all time against top ranked teams the only win was against Magic and Michigan State in January of 79 the INI two losses both the number one by a total of four points shoot not Mike Tarico but Michigan freshman Josh Moore and here Moore putting his foot down there he is, finishes it off. He had four points, Michigan up three at the half. Second half, Wolverines dominating inside. Going to be another miss, but Chris Young. Box out, rebounding position, slamming home. He had 10, Michigan 21 offensive boards. They were up seven. Wake, though, climbs back, doing it on defense. Josh Howard, the steal, taking it the other way. And if we're playing horse, yeah, I think you're out, but it's good two for him. Robert O'Kelly here with a steal, but watch the referee. You played defense with your feet, not your hands, and I'm not sure if that's a block or a charge. He and Dave Odom, what it turns out to be is it's a turnover. Sorry, Coach O'Kelly. He gets some revenge, spots up, hits the three. He had 19 away for us, wins it by a count of 71 to 60. So last year's NIT champs come from 11 down. In the, in the first half, Huskies by 16, and they're running. Albert Mooring ahead to Edmund Saunders. Hey, Alley Oop. Calhoun upset because of the technical foul called on Saunders for hanging on the rim. Huskies left by 20 at the break. Butler, another one-handed jam. Glenn Miller's team was down 12. Still in the second half. Off the miss. Butler the rebound. Ahead to Saunders. All alone. What are you going to do? Saunders is going to score 20 points. UConn wins. Jim Calhoun said the final score was the only positive for UConn. They allowed 52 points in the second half. Quote, when you get guys posted up by 5'10 kids, you've got trouble. And the worst part of it, we thought we were trying. Colgate and Syracuse. Jim Beheim and the Orange Men looking for their third 35th straight win over the Red Raiders. Syracuse jumped out to the early lead, early middle and late lead for that matter. Deshaun Williams, nice move. Williams had 21, Syracuse up 20 at the break. Orange Men hanging on in the second half. Preston Schumpert had 21, Syracuse wins 73-65. No jet lag for the Orange. That is SportsCenter Showcase highlight quality stuff. Tar Heels. Well, that worked pretty well. Jason Richardson for Michigan State. They're out 12-7. Coming back, Ryan Morrison, the oop. He'll keeping it close. Off of Carolina miss. Andre Hudson gets the rebound, and then you like the kids passing. Marcus Taylor ahead to Richardson. Just keep the ball moving. He had 16. The Spartans take a 40-27 lead. Second half. Whoops, turnover. Charlie Bell going to end up with the loose ball. Going in for two of his 15. Spartans up 54-43. Tar Heels fighting back, though. Morrison, he turns it over again. But somehow, Chris Lang pokes it out of there. And Lang, two of his career best 22. Heels trail by 10. Too much Spartans, though. Bell, Richardson, alley-ooping because they can. Tom Izzo, he's happier now. Spartans, 14 more rebounds, 14 more second second chance points the Spartans win it by a count of 77 to 64.
Hudson scored 14 points to become the 30th player in MSU history to reach 1,000. The Spartans extend their winning streak to 15 games. That's the longest active streak in the nation. They've also won 32 straight at the Breslin Center, which is second longest in the nation. Charlie for their name. First half Badgers. They can shoot it from far. Kirk Penny three. Charlie Wills. You get three for that. And then Penny drive and kick it back out. Ricky Bauer for three. Wisconsin of 21-10. 12 of 21 from three. Later in the first, Maryland down one. Steve Blake driving. Nice feed to Lonnie Baxter for the hoop. Terps by three at the half. Second quarter, Wisconsin down two. Bauer again. Load it up and fire away. Badger, 56-55. Later, Terps down three. And you know, yeah, there's an arc on the other end. Blake hits it there. Tied at 62. Closing seconds. Bauer sets up. I'm not sure that's the play you draw up, but he misses. We're going to extra minute. And Dick Bennett, I'm not sure this is exactly positive feedback right there from the coach. Anyway, in overtime, Wisconsin by three. Mike Kelly, he nets one, and the Badgers go up five. Don't bother to look back. They bother to go to the locker room with a win, 78 to 75. Maryland now has lost three in a row since a Michael Menser from way downtown. The Hoosiers up by four, but Menser for three. We got ourselves a one-point ball game. Now Kirk Hastings on the line. No good on the second shot. Indiana State with the ball. They are down two. Menser for three in the lead. Got it. Indiana State up 59-58. Last chance for the Hoosiers. Jared Jeffries, the freshman, needs a miracle. Not answered. Indiana State wins it 59-58. Indiana State has beaten Indiana twice in a row for the first time ever. After two wins to start the year, Indiana now has lost three straight. Jeffrey's a freshman, a game high 19 for Indiana, but it was not enough. How about Purdue and Virginia? Pete Gillen trying to get the Cavs to 4-0. First half, Virginia down three. Donald Han, the alley -oop to Chris Williams, who had 24. Second half, Virginia up 16. Off the steal. Han's going to get it. Two of his 24. Definition of a one and one You miss the first, it's a live ball. I said it's a live ball. Purdue, what do you have? Hand up and good. And Virginia wins it 98-79 as Virginia forces 23 turnovers. Hand, great game. Frank U of A has won seven straight home open. Second half action, and this is kind of odd. The alley open, you get three points for that. Let's look at it again. Dan Dick out, yeah. It's an accident, but it's a good three-point accident. He had 20, and the Zags will take it. Hanging tough. The visitors, but Gilbert Arenas gets on a roll. Three points there. It's more conventional. Arizona up five. And then the closing seconds, the team of 12, Richard Jefferson. Oh, my. Unnecessary dunking. But he is young and athletic, and he didn't score against Purdue, so maybe that's what happened there. Arizona wins it 101-87. to Arenas scored 12 of his 21 points in a late 20-6 to run. The Wildcats made 34 of 39 free throws, improved to 16 at 2 in home openers under Lute Olsen. The Zags 11 for 23 for three-point range. More Pac-10, Jason Collins. Ton conference record to 31 and 1 since 95. Karan Butler makes a steal. Can't finish the dunk, but Johnny Selby is there for the putback. Selby, 21 points. Later second half, shot clock winding down. Edmund Saunders for three. Got it. And more Butler. This is a freshman that can do some things. The steal and the jam. Says hello. You're on Sports Center. Huskies win at 72-60. They've won four in a row. Butler, 15 points, six steals, nine boards. As Houston, with the loss, drops now to two and four. Pretty sloppy, but then against so the Redbirds, Jeff Kaboshi. Sporting hair this year. He was bald last year. Kansas by eight at the break. Got a fire and brimstone speech from Roy Williams at halftime. And Drew Gooden, Rock, Chalk, Jayhawk. He led everybody with 17. Jayhawks up 60 to 38, but... The sluggishness not over. Jayhawks seem a little confused. Actually, they were very confused. I know they're better than Illinois State, but not going to beat them four on five. Roy ended up having to take a timeout because they didn't have enough numbers of players on the floor. Imagine if the Jayhawks can't count players, they will be asked to count suicides in practice. 80 to 61. Kansas rolls on and wins the game. Gooden, 17.